More than a public health emergency, the COVID-19 outbreak has financial implications throughout the world and here at home. For a better understanding of what that'll mean in the days and weeks ahead, we got insight from George Hammond, an economist with the University of Arizona Eller College of Management. Well, you want to keep in mind that there's a huge amount of uncertainty about how the spread of the virus will affect economic activity. And that uncertainty is part of what's driving the issues that we're now seeing in stock prices with, you know, we're in the midst of a major sell-off in stock prices. Stock prices are falling very rapidly. And that reflects in part the uncertainty about what's gonna happen and also it reflects um, some pretty calm judgments about the big impacts that we'll be seeing in the travel and tourism sector and in part across the manufacturing sectors as uh, people engage in more social distancing or you know, being less uh, interested in gathering in large groups. You know, we're seeing uh, canceling of uh, a lot of events around the nation. We'll probably see more in coming weeks. So that affects stocks, and stocks matter for consumer spending. Um, so as stock prices fall, consumers will tend to spend less, other things the same. Specifically related to Arizona, you mentioned manufacturing, I think, of the cross-border trade. What's the relationship going to be like moving forward? Yes, uh, cross-border trade does matter for Arizona. You know, as we think about the parts of the world that are most affected by the virus so far, that's China and Europe, particularly Italy, uh, Arizona last year exported about a billion dollars worth of goods to China, um, but that's half of the value of our exports to Canada. And our exports to Mexico were eight times as large as our exports to China. So Mexico and Canada are much more important trading partners. Could this send us into a recession? Yes, uh, what's happening now uh, does have the, um, the potential to send us into a recession. Um, most economists that I'm talking to these days put the odds of a recession at uh, 50%, maybe even a bit higher than 50%. Uh, that would be a, a kind of a moderate downturn starting during the uh, April to June period. So next quarter, probably lasting for a quarter or two. Now, um, one of the reasons that uh, economists are looking at that is because the, the spread of the virus and our reaction to the virus is ha going to have a big impact on the travel and tourism sectors. You know, leisure and hospitality, which is hotels, motels, restaurants, and bars, um, as well as uh, arts and entertainment, that accounts for about 11% of Arizona jobs. So when you see a big disruption to an industry that's that big and you think about how uh, the spending of those workers kind of flows through the remainder of the economy, it's a, it's a big impact that uh, will for sure generate slower growth and may generate uh, a downturn here in the near term. You just listed some industries that could be negatively affected. Is there a benefit to any industries as a result of all this? Well, we may see um, some additional spending going to healthcare. Um, online retailers may see a bit of a benefit. Uh, you know, uh, we may see additional spending. In fact, I'm, I'm sure we'll see additional spending at grocery stores, pharmacies, and that kind of thing, which will help to offset some of the some of the spending losses that we'll see in other sectors. Um, but uh, overall, the you know the growth that we see in those other sectors is is likely not going to be enough to offset the losses that we'll see in travel and tourism. How many months could it take to recover from an outbreak like this one? I can tell you economically that uh, you know if we, uh, if we fall into a recession, the thinking these days is that uh, we will be looking at a, a U type of recovery, which means it will take us um, several quarters to get back to the previous level. We're not, it won't be a quick return to the, to the economic output that we saw before the downturn began. Okay, George, thank you. Thank you.